A student's choice of university plays a major role in their lives in regard to their social activities, future career, and of course, their education. In today's day and age, most of us grew up with the idea that university is a life-changing factor, starting from when we are in primary school. We're here to present our final project on university student recruitment for our marketing courses with Dr. Nicolina. In order to analyze what the deciding factors that influence students and their choice of university are, we conducted a survey of nearly 600 students based on what led them to enroll in their current institution, with the six of us splitting up the work to survey nearly 100 students each. Going into the materials we reviewed on secondary data collected for topics related to ours, we found plenty of research that could help us build our questionnaire. One of the most interesting articles of previously done research that we've reviewed was one of named 2015 High School Students of Perceptions and Preferences by Dr. Raquel Bermeo. It gave us an understanding of students' preferred communication in comparison to the actual direct communication they receive from universities, such as how many of them actually prefer to receive emails from such institutions. It even compared the various data between different genders, ethnicities, class years, and even the academic performance of the students surveyed in order to reflect possible influences from the responses. This helped us gain an insight on how we should form some of the questions in our survey in order to gain similar input from students and have data that we could compare, analyze, and develop conclusion based off of. After reviewing the various secondary data we found, we thought it would be important to incorporate personal factors that led us to join AUE into our questionnaire. We choose our survey based off some factors that lead students why they join on AUE. For example, I joined in AUE because my brother is here studying here. On the other hand, maybe other students they have different factors, maybe the quality of education, maybe the social media, social life in this university. So that's we choose question related to those factors because we thought and we believe those factors help us and lead us to find an accurate question related to our topic. After we finished designing our survey, it was time to distribute it. We had two options, either to go the traditional route with physical surveys or use virtual methods and send the questionnaire through SurveyMonkey links. The amount of people who used the physical survey methods in comparison to virtual was evenly split. For example, my colleague Sumen preferred to use physical because he thought it would be time consuming and nearly impossible to survey all 100 students through web links. On the other hand, my other colleague Matt had found it easier to survey his 100 respondents through the use of web links. After surveying nearly all 600 respondents in the academic city area, there was still plenty of work to be done. After cleaning our data and narrowing our number of respondents to around 530, it was now time to analyze our data and record our findings. The university was suggested by their workplace. So this is how they came. With the help of the SBSS program, we developed certain conclusions about our respondents, such as when we conducted our t-test between two groups of data related to our demographic responses. After analysis of our data, we gained information such as working students more often agree that radio is an effective method of marketing for universities in comparison to non-working students. Based on that, we developed the inference that this is probably due to the fact that working students drive more often than non-working students, and therefore listen to the radio more often. To wrap things up, we wanted to give thanks to our professor, Dr. Nicolina, for allowing us to gain experience in a field that could greatly benefit us in our future careers. And although we initially faced a lot of challenges due to the fact that students like Alex and I have never conducted a survey with more than 20 respondents prior to this project, we were pleased with the outcome of everything, and we'll remember this great experience for years to come.